Two static site generators promise easy documentation with Markdown. Docusaurus is React-based, backed by Meta, with 214 tracked mentions. MKDocs is Python-based with two mentions, but simpler setup. One analysis notes Docusaurus, quote, being developed by Meta has dedicated support that MKDocs lacks. Another states, MKDocs, quote, used by less than 0.1% of websites with known content management. Usage data shows Docusaurus over twice as popular. So which tool delivers for different documentation needs? Docusaurus creates React-powered single-page apps using MDX, letting you embed components inside Markdown. It includes versioning, localization, and Algolia search. Maintained by Meta, it updates frequently and suits React developers naturally. Material for MKDocs even states Docusaurus, quote, very popular and great if you're using React. But non-React users face a steep learning curve and challenging customization. MKDocs, built on Python, uses one YAML configuration file for ultra-fast setup. It works with plain markdown, no framework knowledge needed. Integrates easily with GitHub pages. The material theme gives it a polished, professional look. Analysts note MKDocs, quote, focuses more on documenting backend repositories where markdown simplicity fits APIs and architectures, yet it struggles with complex, multilingual, or dynamic documents. In practice, Docusaurus dominates technical documentation for internet services, software, and hardware. Used by React Native, Temporal, and Supabase. Kent Dodds called Dark Mode, quote, my favorite new feature. Paul Armstrong said, quote, huge boon to our docs team. MK Docs appears more in wikis and blogs. Docusaurus trends higher in the US, France, and China. MK Docs in Germany, Netherlands, and Brazil. The complexity trade-off is clear. MK Docs offers elegant simplicity, but only static sites. No dynamic content, scripting, or what you see is what you get editing. Docusaurus supports deeper customization, but requires node dependencies and more setup overhead. Both generate static files, yet Docusaurus's single-page architecture delivers faster client-side navigation. Technical writers agree both excel at docs as code using Markdown and Git. Docusaurus setup takes longer, needing Node and NPM. MKDocs installs instantly via Python and pip. Both integrate with GitHub pages for quick deployment. The choice depends on tech stack and team skill. The verdict? Choose Docusaurus if you're a React developer or need advanced features like component embedding, versioning, and strong meta backing. Accept the learning curve and node management. Choose MKDocs for minimal setup, Python simplicity, and great themes, accepting fewer advanced features and smaller community. Neither wins universally. Your team's background and project complexity decide the better fit. If this helped you choose a documentation generator matching real needs, excellent. I investigate developer tools promising simplicity, but often delivering framework lock-in or trade-offs. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. 
It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.